time. We got it this time. We got it. Using the selfie stick in the car. <laughs> Kimberly, Faith, and Michael here. Here with you for another adventure. Today we are going to Hualapai Mountain Park. Which is in Kingman, Arizona. Uh, which people around here know, but you guys, you know, if you're not from this area of Southern Nevada, you probably don't know. Kingman is about 90 minutes south of Vegas. It's in Arizona. Um, it it kind of goes overlooked at times. Uh, we're going to climb Hualapai Peak since apparently we're like in a peak summiting mode right now. Uh, it's nothing compared to last week. However, it is the highest summit in Mojave County and it is the highest point in the Hualapai Mountains. The peak is 8,417 feet high and we will be climbing a elevation gain of 2,296 feet. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's 8.1 mile loop, not a there and back, uh, which again sounds like not a big deal compared to last week, but it is a big deal. Last week, you should know, was Mount Charleston, which local folks call Charlie. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of in a summiting mood. Uh, so welcome to our next summit. Let's go. Always with the hair. <laughs> and my hiking hairspray. <laughs> this is everybody have hiking hairspray. This is getting uh, dramatic. Isn't this pretty, guys? I don't know if what we're climbing is that peak. Not quite sure, but we're enjoying the drive. It costs $10 for day use here in Hualapai Mountain Park. There are 10 miles of hiking trails and biking trails. There's a beautiful campground. You could rent teepees. You could rent these adorable little cabins. Okay, I think we're almost ready. Well, have to do that now first. We're ready. I gotta show you guys my shirt. Today, I'm excited about everything. As opposed to every other day when you're excited about everything. Look at that mountain up there. Binoculars, the magic binoculars. Magic binoculars. I wonder if that's where we're going. Here is the map of um, Hualapai Mountain Park. This is the trailhead. Uh, the yellow trail is what we're doing. This is the longest trail here. When you get here, all the trailheads start past this gate. So you actually have to walk up to the trailhead and restrooms. And uh, the elevation is a pretty steep grade, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yes. Big time. <laughs> I was down below the rock because I filmed her up on top of the rock. She didn't say anything. She just pointed to the rock. And it's like, you know, you have to say, you say jump, I say how high. No, no, no. She doesn't even say jump. She just points. And I jump. <laughs> he loves me. Well, see where our blue dot is? We walked the wrong road. That dotted line is a driving road, <laughs> not the trail. So we are going to continue the blue dot along the driving road to meet up with the trail. It is humid and it is hot. And we just took a walk, walk, stroll to a peak that we didn't need to. We're thinking that this peak up here with the radio towers, we're thinking that's where we're going. We'll let you know. <laughs> it would be nice to know, but hey, we're in this for the adventure, right? Yes, and this, this park is not well marked in terms of signage. And the word adventure implies the unknown. Boom! Drop the mic! Our trail, Hualapai Peak, even though it's on the map, it's not anywhere on the signage in the park. Like I said, the signage here is not great unless you're doing Potato Patch Loop, Hayden Peak, or Aspen Peak, if you're doing anything outside of that, good luck. Aren't you forgetting something? Ah, yes. So we stumbled upon a little camp here, Camp Levi Levi. It looks cute. They they have um, a trading post. They have a little trading post and a whiteboard and, whiteboard and some picnic tables. I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out. Wouldn't you just look at that? I guess this is this is where they talk about wildfires <laughs> and rally about them. Uh, 
this must have been uh, a Boy Scout place because it says in loving memory of Ben McKinney, a true scout. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. <laughs> On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. What do you see? What do I see? I see you. And you are loving my show. We found a mysterious box in the camp which we have to walk through and I'm afraid to get near. I don't even... What is it? Pale ale. Get some beer. Handcrafted ale and paint. You walk through Camp Levi Levi and you follow the dirt road. Um which is starting to take us down, down, and, down. And the problem with down, 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 when you haven't reached the peak yet is, you know all that down, you gotta go back up. So that just adds more elevation. We probably came down a few hundred feet, so that's a, a net gain of maybe 700 feet. Used to be a thousand. There is a whole lot of really pretty quartz here. All different colors, purple, white, yellow, little rocks, big rocks. It's really, really pretty for those of you who are into rocks. Isn't that pretty? All the marbling, and it's everywhere. So Meadow, large grassy area. If you don't understand that, see my Mount Charleston video. Guys, this is hard. This is, this is so stinking steep. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Heart rate's up there. You see the blue dot. And as you can see by the elevation rings around, uh, we're in a little flat area, which we'll go for a little bit. And then do you see toward the end, that's the peak. The tighter the elevation rings, the steeper the incline. Look at this rock up here. Isn't that cool? Looks like a seesaw. The problem is, I'm afraid we're going up there. <laughs> yeah, or higher. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to do this. This will be fun, they said. Left, left, right, left. You're doing that on the fours instead of the twos. <laughs> I know. I was just trying to let you guys see how slow we have to go sometimes. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Right now it's left, 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 right, left. But that's only for like five more seconds. Look at these cute little plants. You know, these are called mountain clover. They're edible and they give a tangy flavor. So if you're out in a wild situation and you got like a salad you want to add a little spice to, that's the way to do it. Mm. Exactly right. I guess we are going up there because there's a seesaw rock. <sighs> they say that we made it to the top. Uh, I just took a peek at the view and it looks incredible, but I'm, we're going to do that later because it looks like there's more rocks. We believe we can go a little bit further. We won't be too dangerous, but we do see a strap there, so we won't get crazy, but just a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. I don't think we're the only ones that had this idea. Problem is, we're not climbers. Isn't this beautiful? This is oof. chaos. Pater, right here. This is like. This is why we do it. This, this is way true. is to the east, and to the east, um, a little, well, oh, a little bit further this way. Okay, we got the Peacock Music and Aquarius Mountains. Yeah, yeah, I've never heard of any of them, but I'm sure we could climb some of them. <laughs> Looking south, which is directly in front of us, um, we can see the rest of the Hualapai Mountain Range. 
Um, and then behind behind me here, we can only see so far, that's why, um, there's uh, the Mojave Mountains, and right behind me is the Black Mountains. But you, we cannot see that because there's that peak that we cannot climb unless we have rock climbing. This right here looks like we could just scooch down and go over to this peak and double peak it. That's where they want you to stop. And this is where we climbed, so 8303. We are going to see where that little, like, if we could get to that little ridge, we may not be able to, but we have to look. See these rocks right here? It looks like once you get past the rocks, what are you looking at? Oh yeah, exactly. Once you get past these rocks here, there's a big drop. So it's not the smooth ledge that we thought it was going to be, but we tried. And now we trek back down. When you're going down so steep, it's really hard not to run. But it's really important not to run, unless you're a trail runner and you're used to it, because it's so easy to trip and to really go fly and really hurt something. I've done it. Once you get to the number eight, which they will give you in the little map they give you, this is where you're going to turn. Maybe this is the potato farm with the potato chip on top of the potato. This is where we were. We're coming down. You can see the little seesaw up there? That's how we know. This right here reminds me of Prescott. Prescott, Arizona. On your way down uh, the potato whatever trail, they actually have a storm shelter. I've never in my life seen this on a trail. We are at an area, it's called Pine Lake Overlook. It's number seven on the little for sure they give you. But if you look really closely right there, there's a pond um, and it's a two acre pond. Uh, at the bottom of this hill is the Yellow Pine Ranch and apparently rock climbing and rappelling is really popular in this area. It's very shaded on the way back. It's very nice. Wow, this view is great. I mean, even look behind you, there's- There's the trail. There's a the trail, there's some beautiful rocks. Get a little bit of everything in this hike. You get lush, you get bugs, you get woods, you get rocks, you get views. The only thing that you do not get in this hike is water features. This is the Lizard of Az. <laughs> We're off to see the Lizard of Az. Do you guys get that? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's great. What a great view. We did it. We made it back to the trailhead. It's it's always a good thing when you see your car, when you see signs, it's like, okay, we're there. Um, here is the trailhead that we didn't think we should start at, but I am telling you now, unless you want to add another couple miles onto your trip, which we did, do not take this road. That's what we did, we took the road. I recommend if you're doing Hualapai Peak, start at the trailhead, even though there is not a sign for Hualapai Peak, you are still in the right place. So start at this main trailhead. Also recommend use all trails for this because you're able to pull up the map and see if your blue ball is following the red trail. And you can see when you're off course and when you're on course. So great hike, loved it. Can't wait to see our mileage because of all the additional stuff we did. We decided to eat at the Hualapai Mountain Resort. A bar and grill. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey guys, I know I look totally different right now, not in my adventure gear, but I was editing and I realized that my goodbye video had crap audio. So I am here now editing, shooting this video again, just to say thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. I hope you get out there to Hualapai Peak. That whole state park is awesome. It does not disappoint. Neither does the restaurant up there, I promise. So thanks again for the support. Please subscribe, share with a friend, comment. I would love to hear what you thought and uh, check out my other videos. I will see you again on the next adventure.